Hey everyone, welcome to Amazon World of Seven, y'all. I'm so freaking sleepy, but today is our wonderful Layla day. Um, I do have a grocery haul I need to show you all uh, from Sam's because I want her to get ice cream and stuff. And thanks for the birthday, and it just turned into a full haul. We need to produce and all that fun stuff. So this haul will be entering into April because what this is like the last week of March. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. We've been having a fun weekend so far. I'm exhausted, <laughs> if you can't tell. But I wanted to make this intro so that I can finally put the video together and get it out there. Um, but yes, we are a family of seven, mom of five, wonderful wife, and we just be going through some groceries. But this should last us for a little bit. Uh, but I, I, I had to go for birthday. It's birthday time, y'all. It's a holiday around here, my little Layla day. So, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you later. Alright, y'all. So, I have forgot to show this. So, look. We got the ice cream from Sam's. Um, the cookies and cream uh, for the birthday. We had chocolate ice cream. Because, of course, she loves chocolate. And this is one of my favorite brands. Um, the Turkey Hill. But they're simply uh, ice cream. And then this one is the vanilla. The Homestar vanilla. So, yeah. Yesterday so. was my yeah, at some point, y'all must have had this, everybody coming in and out. Oh, what is it? They got cookies and cream ice cream on them. People coming in and out this day. going to freeze it now. It's all frosted and stuff. But anyways, I'm not complaining. We're going to get life together. But, yes, this was for Sam's Hall, y'all. All right, so at Sam's, we got the restaurant-style um, Sara Lee hamburger buns. Then we got some hot dog buns because there's some hot dogs in the freezer. I want to get ate up. So I just got some buns to go with them for dinner one night. And or I'm going to have them eat it for lunch. Um, then we got some croissants. You okay? Some croissants. Because um, I had a size for breakfast sandwiches with croissants and or tuna sandwiches. Um, and they just like to just eat them. So um, we got those. Uh, my oldest asked me to get some noodles. Um, so I got the cup of noodles. Um, it's a smaller one than usual. These are sandwiches. Usually it's like stacked. But this worked out so perfect for us because they be just sitting for the longest here at my house. So I'm so happy it's actually shrunk down, actually. And I know that sounds crazy, but this is one of those things that we just don't eat, um, I guess, as often, like fast enough. So I got those. And then same with the uh, regular noodles. Oh, my God. That's what I was trying not to do. The oodles and noodles. So I just got a chicken oodles and noodles. And they went down as well um, to just like one sleeve like this. Uh, poor little croissants. I was trying my best not to knock them over. But, you know, what is it on life if it's not getting a little bumped and bruised here and there? From Johnny Go, y'all, this Japanese barbecue sauce is so good. Like the original one, we use it all the time. We got the big one from Costco a while back. Now they don't sell it. Um, but we use it on, I mean, just about everything. So I veggies, salmon, all types of things. But I have never seen the hot and spicy. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this little hot and spicy uh, Japanese barbecue sauce. It looks like it's going to be super delicious. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started here with Sam's. We're going to start with all of this. Sorry if it made y'all dizzy. But so here we got us a salmon here. This was going to be for dinner tonight, but I got in so late. So they are having frozen pizza. Um, of course, that's when the baby wanted to come and play. But anyway, they're having a frozen pizza that's already in the oven and stuff. But I want to just make this tomorrow for dinner. Um, this was $27.55, but it was $5 off, so it was $22. And anybody that don't eat salmon, because there are a few amounts that it's not, they're just going to eat the little fish fillets we have in the freezer already, um, and they can make sandwiches with that. Then over here, we needed some more turkey bacon. We were all out. This particular brand from Sam's is so, so good. It tastes better than the one that's at Costco. But it's, but it's like similar. Um, but it is good. This uncured turkey bacon. So we got some more of that uh, for whenever. Because y'all, I won't even dare say just breakfast and stuff. Because y'all know we just eat what we feel like we about to eat at whatever time of day for the most part. All right. And then here we have um, some uncured Canadian turkey bacon. I got this last time, y'all. It is so, so good. I'm so freaking excited about this. It's a limited time, I sounds. And it's still only seven bucks um, for this. 
look and it's two packs so um i got two of them because i'm going to freeze them i have like a half a pack of the last one so still and i'm just going to freeze it because whenever they're gone at least i have them because it's so hard to ever see i've never honestly seen um turkey canadian bacon until recently i saw them so i'm super happy i'm really really pleased with this brand and it tastes so good all right so we got that for breakfast sandwiches uh, or whenever we decide to eat those but um I went to GFS and I got some more of their chopped collard greens because these are great to just have in the freezer and they're still fresh and I can just make them. They already chopped um, for a quick veggie side. Then here at Sam's, we got some more of the Eggland's Best Little Almond. Oh, 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 you okay, sweetheart? Come here, baby. Come here, come here. Um, and so that's like really, really good. Uh, how many are in here? Oh, hey, there's eight, but they're like a decent size. Like, so I'm gonna just pair that with some of the turkey bacon and my plan is to use this um to make my sandwiches and whatnot so it's like super versatile you can put any veggies on it meat whatever you decide but it's it's perfect and quick uh then here we have um some of the pineapple spears they were on sale which is why i got it i was like oh well better time to try them now so it was with the coconut water i've been adding stuff for a while because i like this glass jar anyhow so i went ahead and got it this time around we left pineapples out we just haven't tried that one then um i got some of the salsa con queso and the uh monterey queso monterey jack queso because my children love to just make little random nachos and stuff uh here and i didn't go to aldi so it was just i just went and got theirs because aldi's is real good too all right and then so y'all <laughs> story time Okay, so if you've been with me, you've noticed that I'm always getting a Just Bear brand. Like, I absolutely love this brand. Um, GFS, of course, my fave, because they always seem to be the first ones to come out with this type of thing, like these. So, GFS right now does not have the regular um, Lightly Just Bear chicken breast fillets, but now they have the chicken breast spicy fillets, which I'm super excited about. Um, they were $10, and I was like, okay, cool, I could just get the regular ones from Costco. Y'all, Costco don't even sell them no more. They're done selling the fillets, but now they have the spicy chicken tenders by the Just Bear. So if you haven't tried those, definitely go get them because they're good as well. Um, so I just got four of the chicken breast spicy ones so we can just have them. Because honestly, with this brand, you just never ever know when you're going to see it, what you're going to get. Like, you know, as far as like which product they decide they want to dish out. And this is the first that we're going to be trying this. It's the first I've seen their spicy chicken fillets um, and whatnot. So super stoked about that. Very sad that Costco will not be selling the regular no more because now GFS doesn't sell the regular. And Sam's only sells the original chicken tenders. Hold on. No, raw Here, go get them. them um, what is the picture? I didn't got the cereal bars. Can you get that from him? No, raw Um, But yeah, so happy and pleased about this i'm sure these are going to taste just as good as the regular chicken spicy i mean chicken breast fillets by the just bear y'all this brand is just awesome um so yeah so we got that let me move this and it was only ten dollars i was like what but they're smaller bags too but i was like that's fine that's fair all right so then i sound i initially wasn't gonna get these but then I, what baby they're on sale currently I see them, so I got them, and I was like, okay, because we like these. It's not like we don't like them. I do actually get this if you see my haul. Ow, boo. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I had to set him up with my husband. Love you too, Rip. All right, so anyway, so we got this while I was on sale because that's really the best time to get it, which initially why I wasn't going to get it because they're like $20 now without water, like 19 but round that up, that's 20 bucks. Um, But they were on sale, and so they were what? 14 i do believe i was like okay well i'll go ahead and get them so these are nice and good in the air fryer um then i'm showing you the cold stuff you skip over some stuff that's funny because i'm just trying to get this one in the freezer get these in all right so then we got some more of these little chicken fajitas so this brand of chicken um these little quick things are actually really really good it actually is the chicken like it doesn't taste like or feel like um i don't know like that process where chicken breast stuff I, I don't know how to describe it but know that this is good <laughs> um this particular brand so i got this i don't really care for their steak it's tough but the chicken fajita ones is really good you can just throw these in like a quick alfredo quesadilla i mean anything really if you just need quick um chicken and you didn't have time to chop it up um type of thing or just throw it in a wrap like i do all right and then so over oh, salad now i needed some chicken thighs um because 
I needed some I wanted to marinate. Now, I know I have, like, one pack of chicken thighs. It's, like, from Costco. You know how they already have them in an individually wrapped thing. Um, so, I just want to one that I'm already able to just separate while it's thawed <laughs> and marinate it in some Italian dressing. So, um, it, when I do thaw it out, it'll already be marinating. And I can just throw it in the oven um, for dinner. And, like, this makes two meals for us because all of them don't eat, like, the bigger chicken. I mean, it's the bigger chicken, so you know, they don't eat the whole thing. Um... So yeah, so let me show you these. Um, I got some of these mashed potatoes from Sam's. Um, let me move back some, y'all. Is that a little better? I got some of the potatoes from Sam's, the little Yukon Gold. Sometimes I get these, sometimes I don't. But I got these this time around because I knew I just wanted something quick for tonight. So the plan was I was making some salmon, these, and um, just a quick veg. And that just did not go as planned. So this will be <laughs> for another night for dinner so but these are really really good i normally don't buy those because i can just you know make mashed potatoes but that was what i had in my mind while i was out because i knew i was running around all crazy my mom i was out with my mom y'all and my mom got me um some pineapples she got her one got me one because they were five dollars this is from john eagle because we had to go pick up her medicine and stuff so that's where we ended up y'all i don't think i showed you oh, ugh, these babies distracted me for a whole hot second all right so at gfs i got some of these fully cooked meatballs because i have a bag of meatballs but it's the they're a little bit bigger so i guess they're like the one ounce probably um and i like those for like meatball hoagies and stuff but i needed some of the smaller ones because um my son asked me to make like the um you know the meatballs with the jelly and chili sauce so i said okay fine we can make that but i needed the smaller ones because this is that pairs really well with really anything but it's good with rice and stuff so I got some of these, and these are the ones we like because all meatballs, frozen meatballs, are not created equal. I do not like, no, I have yet to find a good turkey frozen meatball unless I'm making it, you know, from scratch. And of course, that's good, but I've yet to see a, a good frozen one. Um, so we just stick with the beef uh, little meatballs from GFS because we know we like those. The Sam's Club brand, it, it tastes like gristles or something in it, so we won't get that either. But anyways... My children miss me, y'all. I've been going all day. Look, my son's grabbing his strawberries, y'all. He just getting everything out. Hold on, baby. Don't don't open those. We gotta wash them, sweetheart. That's my taller. Y'all, I went produce shopping. Y'all know how I get. I'm always gonna produce. I'll get to that. <laughs> no, raw. All right. So, anyways, let me show y'all the potatoes. So, I got some red potatoes this time around. Usually, I get yellow or uh, russet, but I wanted to do um, some roasted red potatoes. So I said, let me switch it up a little bit. And I got these. I would have got these and a russet, but I think the russet was like $10. And these were still, these were actually cheaper than the yellow. And I was just, you know, we'll just go with this. So that was how that thought process went when I was there. <laughs> um, how they fighting over strawberries, y'all. <sighs> my children, I'll be right back. Ooh, chat. I had to help him with the strawberries. My son got him now. <laughs> All about some fruit, y'all. All right, so... We got some crackers from Sam's, um, our usual. So we got the toasted peanut butter, little cheese ones. And then we got the round peanut butter ones because some like these, some like these, some like both. I don't eat either. I would have to really, really, really have a taste for those. All right, and then we got some mustard because I needed some more mustard. I always use this for marinades and just to put on, you know, burgers or hot dogs or something. But for the most part, I put on a fish, chicken, I mean, you need a potato salad. I mean, tuna, anything. So I need some more mustard. I go through these so quick. All right, and then I needed some more mayo. Um, so I got one of these because we are down to our last pack of this. And y'all, I do not like to run out. So I just went ahead and got another one. I did get a miracle whip. I don't know where it's at. Y'all you know, know my babies help me bring everything in. So, well, I don't bring nothing in once I'm home. Y'all, I sit my butt right in my van or in here. And my husband and children do all that. But anyways. <laughs> All right, and then we needed some more hot sauce because we're down to just one bottle. So I got one pack of hot sauce. Um, I needed some more Italian dressing because, again, I wanted to put it on my chicken to marinate while I, you know, freezing and whatnot. Um, so I needed some more of that. And they asked me to bring some um, chicken pot pies, so of course I did. Um, that is a staple sometimes. Sometimes it's a staple, sometimes it's not. They go through phases. But this is a definite staple all the time we keep this in the house. The Ben's um, original jasmine rice and the Madre lentils. They told me we were out. Make sure I pick some up. My children love this for lunches or breakfasts or whatever. So that's what I did. So I have 
one child who really likes the white jasmine and i have another who likes the brown and red kale one we already have some of the brown and red kale ones still and plus sam's don't sell that um costco do but they didn't have it when i went either so anyway i got some more of this one though and of course this now this was only ten dollars at sam's 9.99 or nine something but it was ten dollars at sam's and right now costco has a sale on them for like three or four dollars off and when i went i was like yes i usually want to stock up it was actually sam's was cheaper so costco still came out to eleven dollars and i was just like dang it i wish i'd have known that because i would have got more at sam's versus i was waiting because i was like oh you know i'll just go there you know but anyways we got two boxes of those and two boxes of these i just didn't put them all up that's why i had orange juice we got us some orange there we go we got us some orange juice i got two of these um all right let me oh let me show y'all cereal now before i look at the other stuff so my son asked me to make sure i pick up some fruit loops i usually didn't get this stuff when it's on sale but i said okay i told him i would so i got these fruit loops i did not like paying um these were like seven dollars for this but i'm sure that's a really great deal for two bags i just like when they're on sale for like five bucks <laughs> and then that's when i get them um and then i got some captain crunch let me see if i can reach over here uh, All right, so um, I got some Captain Crunch as well um, because I know my oldest, she likes this, and now that she's going to be home, I'm um, not cyber school. I made sure to get a box of those. I mean, of course, we all like it, but I know for a fact she'll eat this before the rest of us for the most part. Eight. Right. All right, so we needed some more sliced strawberries. Um, so I got these from Sam's. Before I used to get it from Target. Well, I got it from Sam's and I got it from Target. Now I'm back to getting it from Sam's. So <laughs> happy that they had the slice. Because sometimes they don't always have the slice. They be having a hole. But lately they've been having a slice. So I got me the sliced strawberries for them. Got their usual blueberries, y'all. Y'all know if y'all doing they love their little frozen blueberries and frozen strawberries, frozen fruit, regardless. But this has always been around. Um, they just snack on these. And I'm trying to do better too. But they just love them. And then uh, I got some of these Korean short ribs. Um, so that I can just cook on myself because one of the wonderful um, YouTubers got me hooked on the ones at Trader Joe's um, from Funimentary. And then when I went there, they didn't even have them. So I was just like, all right, forget it. I can just make my own. I seen them at uh, Sam's and I was like, oh, I might as well just go ahead and get them. And then I could just marinate them and, you know, cook them myself. So got some of these. That was, what, 23 bucks. So this will feed, this is literally like three meals because everyone doesn't eat these. So um, then we got some of the honey butter, cinnamon, and brown sugar. My children just love this stuff. I love it on sweet potatoes. Uh, then we needed some more applesauce. They told me to make sure I got some applesauce. So I did. Um, we needed some more mandarin oranges. Got those. I only got one because my toddler be trying to run through them. And y'all, I'm still changing his butt and y'all can see it come out his butt and that's just too much. So I just got one. So we got our favorite homestyle ranch. Um, I got four of them. We were completely out of ranch. So I got four of these. They changed the shape, but it is still the same amount. Um, so I did get four of those. I got some paper bowls. Um, once in a while I get these. I used to get these all the time and paper plates, but the cost is just not my friend. So I only get them once in a while. So I went ahead and got them uh, for now. Let's see, y'all. What am I missing? I'm trying to make sure I show y'all these all the Sims. Normally, y'all not be having them all mixed up, but I'm trying to do better in life. Uh, because I did go to Jenny Eagle with my mom, so I do have some stuff to show y'all from here. Um, so then I got the Prego. Uh, I try to get this every time I go to Sam's for the most part, at least get one because we do go through them. I love the Prego mainly for my meatballs and then like the Rayos and stuff for like other stuff, spaghetti and different things. But the Prego is real good with meatball hoagies. I don't know why, but it just is. All right, let me go ahead and get this Trader Joe's up for y'all and Johnny Eagle because that's where I was at with my mama and that's what we got. Yeah, I was seeing her transition to put the other stuff up and I was like, wait, did I even show y'all this? So we can eat some more grape jelly for peanut butter and jellies and for the meatballs. So I got a uh, grape jelly. Um, we needed some more honey and I wanted to try this raw unfiltered uh, local half Northeast honey because normally... I get this one, the organic one, but I didn't have it. Um, so I got one of each. I figured this must be the replacement, I guess, but 
I mean, I'm sure they're both good. So I got both of them because they literally were around the same price regardless. They both were like close to 14 bucks. All right, y'all. So I said we got some ground turkey because I have been wanting a meatloaf so bad. And I don't use beef for meatloaf. Um, we use ground turkey. And I tried to get with the ground chicken. And I just wasn't bold enough, y'all. I gave it to my mom. So... <laughs> I just know I don't like ground chicken and I would hate to make it and then it goes to waste and I just mm -mm. so I know she'll eat it and then I just went and got us some ground turkey because this is what we've been eating for years and years and years before I even started incorporating a little bit of beef into our diet so we're going to go with that for turkey meatloaf then um at Johnny Go y'all look what I seen me and my mom we was like oh what's this now I don't eat real lobster because I don't eat shrimp and lobster and things of that nature but I know that I hear so much about the little cheddar bay biscuits that everybody said they're good. So I just went and um got this little cheddar bay biscuit cod. It was on sale for six dollars, and I was like, wouldn't a better time than now to try it? Um, and so I'm super excited. Each of them had four fillets. My mom got two boxes and I got two boxes, so I cannot wait to see how this tastes. Um, and then I'm sure in the air fryer it's gonna be super delicious. And then my mom got us uh, some fish. Basically, y'all, a good bit of a good bit of stuff my mom got. She's awesome. Um, so don't let me have y'all full thing I pay for all of it because I did not. <laughs> but uh so she got us some black bass, cause we love black bass. Um this is something I grew up eating. So we got um I think there's four in here for my household because only I and my five year old and my three year old eats it. Um and whatnot. So we got that. And then that was twenty four fifty five. They'll butterfly for you and everything. So really good. Then we got some perch. She got both of us some perch, um, right here. So how many pounds of perch does she get? Because I don't know, what is it? Two point three pounds, yeah, of perch. So we love some fried perch y'all so good and you know sometimes you gotta take the bones out before you fry them up you know so the babies don't choke on them but perch is one of them things it's so hard sometimes to get the fish out but it's such a i mean to get the bones out all the time but it's such a good fish um then y'all i seen these little spinach and feta salmon burgers shot i was like yes please so my mom and i got some they had some frozen and then we seen that they had it fresh and again I was hungry. That's what that was. I was going to make this for me because I thought I was getting back earlier in the day versus the time that I did. Um, but I'll just make this for me for lunch tomorrow. Wait, no, I did want a sandwich for my breakfast tomorrow. I don't know, but I know this is getting made tomorrow. So we, we not tonight because I, I ate something now. But this was seven fifty four, and I'm sure it's going to be super good. I just don't know what sauce or something to put on it. When I put it on my my bun, I have no idea what I'm going to put on there. Maybe I won't even need sauce. So maybe just a little hot sauce. I don't know, but. I just know I wanted to try it. Or maybe no bun. Y'all tell me, what would y'all do with this? Yeah, yeah. Because, like, if I made a salmon patty, I would only put hot sauce on it. I wouldn't even put any type of bun or anything. Like, I would just eat that with rice and a veggie. You know what I mean? And this is similar. So, y'all share with me what y'all would do. All right. Then, um, here, we got some car car oranges my mom got at the john eagle now y'all i'm showing y'all this because it all came out the john eagle bag but we got like a whole bunch of other fruit that we got from um the co-op so i'm, I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute so don't be surprised when y'all see more oranges but my children go through fruit like there's no tomorrow so this will literally be gone like probably by tomorrow so yeah so we got that um then at sam's y'all i've seen the seasoned barbecue salmon now typically i do not buy frozen salmon from sam's but this was only ten dollars like it was literally on sale for 9.99 and i was just like who am i to try not to buy this like because normally i would be looking at this like i can season my own with barbecue so like i got the trader joe's barbecue seasoning you understand what i'm saying but it's not just seasoning it's actually um hold on y'all let me get this focus okay so it's actually look like it's marinated and maybe maybe it's an oil and barbecue or it is a barbecue sauce i'm not really sure but i'm excited to try it for ten dollars and y'all if y'all have been with me y'all know i've said it time and time again don't mind my table it is clean and sanitized but this table has been around since like forever all right am i not recording baby oh thank you so much me? who else who's that loud speaking over me okay thank you um but yeah so We've done arts. We do everything on this table. It is just stained, and I refuse to buy a new one for a while because it's still super sturdy. 
nice hardwood and that's just what it is sometimes i put a tablecloth on it but this is just what it is y'all they paint and do everything on here all right so don't mind it y'all but anyways let me get the rest Whew, child. i'm out of breath y'all doing hauls or it's, it's so much work <laughs> Grocery shopping and then doing hauls. That's why I'm not hungry because I ended up just getting me a Jimmy John real quick. Um, turkey sub, turkey hoagie because I just need something before I can do this haul. Um, on an empty stomach. But yeah, let me get this going because I got some other stuff to show y'all. All right, y'all. So from the co-op, we got some strawberries as my son was trying to open them. So we have four of these, although he has already, they ate the other first one. So there's three strawberries left right here. Look. Aren't these nice? So big and beautiful. The co-op is awesome, but they're super expensive. And I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. If it wasn't for my mom, I personally would not be shopping there. Let me just throw that out there. <laughs> because, like, seriously, I was looking like, what the heck? And this literally cost $50. Like $50. Like, but yeah, here we are. Anyways, I appreciate her. She's awesome. So, we got two. Open up. Their tomatoes are so freaking good. Hold on, baby girl. Y'all, this thing don't want to open for y'all. It was like, no, don't show me. Look at that. So we got two tomatoes because I wanted some for sandwiches. And then my five-year-old just eats them just to eat them. So um, I'm going to just dice these up for her and me and the baby and you know, my toddler. Because um, we're the main ones that eat tomatoes. So got two of those beautiful things right there. I just needed one onion because I always keep frozen onions and peppers in the freezer because that is how I don't waste them and it just works way better, way can be more convenient whether I chop them or I buy them pre-chop. But I like to at least have regular onions for like sandwiches or you know things of that nature, sandwiches, salads. And if I buy real big ones, I've noticed that I've wasted them if I don't get it to them fast enough to chop them up and freeze them. So I just got one, and we're going to call it a day because I do not like to waste money. To me, there's no point of buying something big. Even though it seems like you're saving, you're really not when you're throwing things away, right? So I got one onion. Um, we got two bags of apples because, again, like I said, my children go through food, I mean, really, really quick throughout the week. So um, I have a gala apple, the organic gala. So, y'all, this thing is like $10. But anyway, got those. Um, and then I got the Fuji apples. I try to get the apples that are like hand size for them, like the palm. Um, and so, and they're, they taste good. So, of course, I know that they like these. So, I got organic Fuji apples and organic um, Gala apples, which usually I get these from Costco and they're a lot cheaper. But these have more than Costco. So, in all fairness. So, you know, just to help my co-op out. <laughs> um, and then the oranges. I got some oranges from them. Oh, my God. Did one get busted while we were doing this? Uh, it is possible because I feel like the juice. But nonetheless, we got some navel oranges, some organic um, navel oranges. And that's the thing about the co-op. Literally, primarily everything in there is organic. So, um, that's not as well. It's a little bit more higher. But, uh, yeah. So, I got the produce from there um and let me see is that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. here we go those are the oranges already showed y'all that we have picked up from john eagle my poor little lettuce it got smushed um through <laughs> its travels but it's still gonna be edible and delicious it's the sweet crisp lettuce um i just wanted this for some sandwiches and salads um because they do eat salads and sandwiches with lettuce just like myself my children eat how I eat pretty much. <laughs> so, um, I made sure to get this. All right, y'all. I'm looking around, trying to make sure that I got everything um, from John Eagle and Sam's. Now, at Sam's, y'all, I could tell y'all I spent $400. I spent 436 or 426 one of them two. But at John Eagle, I cannot tell you exactly how much I spent with the fish and everything because I didn't just buy that. My mom did too. So I honestly don't have a amount for you. And the produce I know was $50. Um, so that I do know because it was a small amount, but I don't know how much was that. Cause you know, it was both of our stuff. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy y'all. I'm so sorry. This, this haul, honey, 
I know it was a little messy, but you know, my children and everything, but like I say, they live here, this is their home, they're gonna be who they are. I don't really tell them not to be who they are, except just not to talk over me. <laughs> all right, so that's VFS Sounds and a giant eagle. Um, I will see you all later. If you like haul, stay with me. Please stick around, subscribe, thumbs up, talk to me. And I will see y'all next time for another haul, y'all. Much peace and love.